How's it going everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switch Watch back with another review. Today it's a game called Super Meat Boy, which is tough as nails by the way, a really, really hard game. I reckon there's a conspiracy on this channel that making me do all of the hard platformers and hard games, but you know what? Gives me inspiration to do the top 10 hardest games on Nintendo Switch. So look out for that video, I'm certainly doing that one. But in the meantime, let's find out if this game is worth your hard earned cash. Let's get into it. Super Meat Boy was released in 2010 on Steam and was designed by Edmund McMillan and Tommy Rafenez as Team Meat. Edmund has gone on to design other games such as Binding of Isaac and The End Is Nigh, both quality titles and they all have one thing in common, they're all very, very challenging. Super Meat Boy has graced many platforms and now it's the turn of the Nintendo Switch. The objective here is a simple one, your motivation to go through the pain you will encounter is because of a girl. The strongest kind of motivation out there. And for you, there is a red cubed shaped character known only as Meat Boy. You have to do what it takes to rescue your girlfriend, Bandage Girl, who's been kidnapped by Dr. Fetus. It's the cutscenes though which are hilarious and the game will reference some great games of the past like Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania. This is a celebration then of some of the greatest past titles. The soundtrack was composed by Danny Baranowski and the tracks very much suit the carnage of what can happen in this game. The tracks at times get your heart rate pumping and pulse racing and honestly I think sometimes the music can lead you to your death as you can end up being too pumped up. The composer is obviously very talented and while I didn't always enjoy all of the tracks in this particular game, I did have an appreciation as to why the tracks fitted this game so well. They are not completely overbearing on the sound effects either and I have to admit on the first world I did turn the volume down and put some of my own music on as it was just easier for me to concentrate. Sound effects consist of hearing Meat Boy jump, die a lot and I mean a lot so you're going to get used to that sound. Traps especially the shining steel spikes have that nice metal sound which you're not going to forget in a hurry. In terms of visuals and performance, the visuals here are simple, but simplicity is all that this game needs. This is a 2D platformer and the backgrounds are nicely realised and you're left in no doubt where you're going to die if you make the wrong move. Meat Boy is just a red cube and leaves a trail of red stuff all over the place, which is quite funny and is a nice touch. What I do like though is how some of the levels themselves make references to other games you may have played. Although the visuals are simple, they are also quite imaginative at times when you'll find portals and everything changes to an 8-bit style, which is really quite cool. The game runs smooth as silk on the Switch and the only complaint you may have is in handheld mode where Meat Boy is a little small. Other than that, I didn't find any issues. The port here is fantastic. So on to the gameplay. The game is hard and it may make you chuck your TV out of the window, but luckily you've still got the Nintendo Switch itself in handheld mode. If you've got a short fuse, a little bit like me, or a bad temper when games are really hard, then you may want to give this one a miss if you're not into hard games. Luckily for me, I like to try it over and over and over again, where either I'll beat the game or the game will beat me, and then I just quit have enough move on and then maybe come back to it and try again but anyway after a few easy levels it soon turns into a very challenging game so if you don't have the patience of dying over and over again then it is going to induce rage quit in some super meat boy is made up of many short levels which often last no longer than 30 seconds or so there's about 300 levels here to complete as well and as you go further in you'll spend a lot more time trying to complete each level as they become more and more challenging now on each one you'll have to make your way past traps, crumbling ledges and all sorts of other things that are there to kill Meat Boy as well as enemies that move around the level. One touch and you're basically done and you have to start again. The levels themselves are also timed and you get a rating at the end which is great as it gives you the incentive to go back and perfect each one. 
It's also a dream game for speedrunners. You need to be focused as it's likely that on the first run throughs, you will miss many of those secrets. Now, I did say that there are warp zones here, which are great as the game flips into 8-bit graphics and it is a real homage to past platformers. Each level is complete when you reach Bandage Girl. There are bandages as well that are left behind on some levels which can be collected and they're always in the hardest to reach places which I must admit after a while I didn't have the patience to keep trying so if you manage to collect all of the bandages you should get a special achievement here and props to you because it's very very difficult to get them all. Now Meat Boy has a few moves and these consist of a jump, another jump where if you hold one of the trigger buttons, top right one, it will make you jump across the screen further and you can also slide down walls and jump off them as well. Everything else is about precise movement and avoiding death of course. The game is designed superbly well and everything is placed perfectly it seems. It makes the game seem challenging but not impossible and this is what keeps you coming back for more. It seems perfect for the Switch as well. If you've got five minutes to blast to get past the level that's been driving you nuts for hours, you can put it down, cool down and come back and try again. It's a lot more addictive than I ever envisaged. The controls also feel right, not too floaty. Meat Boy has a nice weight to him and the controls are tight, but it did feel more natural for me playing on the D-pad with the Pro Controller instead of the analog sticks, which didn't feel quite right for me on this game. Now, the game itself was made in 2010, but it still holds up today, even though there is a lot more competition now in the indie space. It's gonna challenge you, it's gonna frustrate you, and you will come back for more. There is even a co-op mode to play with a friend using the Joy-Cons, which is welcome. Mode is called Race Mode, and it's all about racing your friend to finish the level first. It really adds to the extra competitiveness of the game, which is superb. I'm glad that they did add this. In terms of value, the game will set you back $14.99, and it's the same on Steam. It's $11.99 in the UK. I think it's still worth every penny. To get to the end, expect to put in between 12 and 20 hours, dependent on your skill level. If you're a completionist, then you're gonna to need to put in at least 50 hours here. So that's a lot of game for the money. Add to the fact that the competitive race mode for another player, and you've got a game here that's got long lasting appeal. So on to my verdict. Super Meat Boy is as good today as it was back in 2010. It's hilarious, challenging and frustrating. You'll feel elation and be infuriated all at the same time. It's gonna test your platforming skills to the nth degree and there are only certain games that can take you through this wide range of emotions and it's why you come back for more every time. If you never played Super Meat Boy, then there's never been a better time than now on the Nintendo Switch, a game which was influenced and pays homage to some fantastic games of the past, but stands tall alongside them. My score then, 8.5 out of 10. And if you enjoyed this review, then as always, we'd really appreciate if you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're a new watcher, and leave us a comment down below let me know your thoughts on the review, the game itself, or any other Nintendo Switch game. For all of you existing guys and girls who continue to support our channel, we really appreciate it. My name's Juan Romero from Switchwatch, and I'll see you on the next one.